Hello everyone, this is Wenbo again. Welcome back to another tutorial. So today I'm gonna show you a, a very quick and short tutorial about a cosmetic product modeling. And a lot of times that you, you will see uh, online, so you will find how to do model this kind of cosmetic cream jar. But a lot of time they never really mention about this part. You know, see? This is the kind of the challenging that the screw or how you model that. And uh, I don't see any YouTube videos online that show you how to do it. So today I'm gonna show you how to do this part real quick. Let me close all these uh, real quick and start with a brand new mesh. Okay, what I'm going to do in here, I'm gonna do first, of course, I always forgot. And then to turn on the shortcut key, uh, to show you what I have here. All right, so shift A to add a plane, do that. And then usually you will see a size. I would just do one, just pay attention. I using one and then to align to the view. So it's kind of facing towards me. And then I'm gonna go to the hit tap and go to the edit mode and uh, select these two vertices and uh, hit X, delete them. Now what I have is only like two vertices, basically a line. Then I'm going to adding a modifier. I'm looking for the screw modifier. Let's add that. And I'm gonna uh, X is I'm gonna do Y. So now here it seems like a cylinder, but we're not trying to build a cylinder. Uh, what we can do here, we are going to to do just going to put a like one meter. So it's match with the the, uh, the length of these two vertices. You wanna know why, okay? And then I'm gonna do two of these. So right now it's like at this shape. I know it doesn't look anything like the screw we're trying to create, but this is the fundamental base we're trying to do. Okay, cool. So this is looking good. I'm going to apply this modifier, but I have to tap out the edit mode to uh, in order to apply. Okay, after we apply the modifiers, the challenging part is this. We are actually kind of positioning two vertices exactly at the same point. You can see here is a black, but we already select the orange one. So because the, there are two vertices are exactly at the same position. So what I'm trying to do now, I don't want to have any issue with it later on. And we were just going, we are just going to uh, delete the extra vertices. So what I can do, hit A to select all and hit M, and then to merge by distance. Look, um, pay attention on down here. Uh, down here, you will see what's happening. So hit M and by distance. Yeah, it's showing removed 17 vertices. So now we're doing pretty good now because they do remove the duplicated vertices and um, in, the, in this mesh. So what we can do next, we can just hit S, kind of scale Z to kind of make it a little bit narrower, not that tall. So we can do this now. Seems like, yeah, it seems like we're getting some shape, kind of scrolling shapes coming out, but we definitely need to modify it a little bit more. So what we need to do next, we need to add some loop cuts. So we are going to hit Control R and to do scrolling and then do three, okay, three loop cuts. So you can do more, but you, I would suggest you to do a all the number, like three, five, seven. Don't do two and four, it doesn't, it's not just going to work. So uh, ask me why, because I'm just been testing out all these uh, in the past couple of practice, so I know how it works. So next thing we want to do now, we are going to select the faces, uh, actually getting the faces to expand it out, make it a screw uh, thing. So hit the number three to uh, to select the face, and uh, do that, and hit control just along the edges, so we can just do that turning. So pay attention, don't uh, select the wrong row. We are just going to kind of continue to do that along the way. Uh, eventually, we are going to finish this one to here. Okay, yeah, so we're done here to go to the top view and then we hit S to scale up a little bit. Now you see, ooh, we're getting something very similar to what we have. Uh, so let's exit out. So far it's looking good, right? And what we have earlier, earlier was like this. 
Uh, so you see there are some screws down here and also on top and the bottoms are equally uh, with equal height so how can we do that so let's do this let's hit H to hide it and we are going to go to edit mode and uh, we are going to go to the side mode to see what's going on here and hit one number once and then now we are select the vertices now I hit alt and click select the entire loop from the top but we needed to deselect these points uh, you will know why I'm doing that later so we hit the B and just using the middle mouse roll and kind of select that so we're done here and now next we're gonna actually ex extrude the whole loops up so hit E Z and over here now we're gonna level it up so S Z 0 so right now see that's kind of looks everything all the vertices are in the same level uh, the next thing we are going to do just kind of drag it down here and hit E Z again so the last one well extrusion it just works like a, a loop cut loop edge support loops so now notice these these two there are two points in here there are two points in here well, we we are going to merge that so basically what we're trying to do to to utilize this space this face to creating something to end it this scrolling effect okay in fact so what we can do here we are going to hit three to select this face and hit i to insert it the reason you see that my ins insert is actually uh, next to the edge so it looks pretty nice and because there's a b key you can do that I think default settings would be like this to insert you want to hit the B to along with the boundary so that's what we want and we're trying to get this two vertices close to this these two vertices so what we can do here grab a Z and just come move up it doesn't need to be super accurate but we're, we're trying to getting that easier when we try to when we are merging these vertices so next step is going to select this face again hit I and B already locked in so we're okay but we don't need to do anything and do that grab and Z to kind of move up close to that edge okay now we um, we are good for that and then we hit number one so you can see here's the vertice mode so next time next thing we need to do just kind of merge the stuff that the, the vertice that we need to merge in order to get everything right so I will go to the uh, X modes just Alt Z here and select this areas. You can see now is there are two vertices being select and hit M to merge by distance. Let's go that same thing over here. Merge by distance here. Merge by distance and D and this one and this one. So merge by distance. Merge, uh, merge at center, yeah. Merge at center, sorry. So that actually, I want to make sure they are actually merged. Sometimes merge by distance is just because the distance you can you can set up very close, and then they can work. If they are not close enough, they were not properly working. So let's just do that. M merge at center, okay. So we actually just kind of sewing sewing you know, all these vertices together. Merge at center. And I think should be fine. Let me this one. Okay. So now if we're looking here, go to here, you can see yeah, something's going on here. Because this this face actually is actually stick into this big flat surface. So we are wanting to go to the top view by after selecting these two vertices, go to top view. You see this going inside it because this is beginning of the uh, the scroll effect so we are just kind of going to grab it and then move it in here it looks just fine and then next thing we can do hit the control hit number two and we can add a subsurface modifier see it looks much nicer right isn't it yes so what we can do here we are going to fix it down here so we can temporarily disable this preview uh, we can start working on this side again so early, notice this in this down here this scroll things down here um, actually having a, a 
additional uh, surface of a line surface. So what we need to do here, we are just going to kind of select this surface and delete it and just doing the same thing as the top. So we're going to hear doing here and hit, oh, hit, uh, hold Alt uh, Control key, just kind of do a selection, selection surround the circle, around the circle. All right, cool. Now, next thing we're going to do X, delete face. Okay, cool. And uh, go to number one. Now, so this looks exactly what are we done, what we have done uh, from the top top side. So cool. Uh, okay. Next thing we want to do is to select the entire loops, right? But we don't want to include these two, these three vertices. And hit the B and middle mouth key, deselect these. And B and do that. So now what we can do here is to extrude along the z-axis again. Here, stop right here, and scale z zero to kind of get everything level up. Grab, uh, grab the whole thing and move move along the z-axis axis here, and do another extrusion along the z-axis to kind of support that. Cool, it's all good. So you know how to do next, right? And hit three to do go to the face selection, select this face, hit I to insert it. Yeah. So yeah, if it doesn't come out with like this way, you can actually hit the B to get that right. So trying to get thing should be fine. Grab and Z to adjust this and then hit I again. You can do that. And grab and Z should be fine. Okay, hit number one, and then start merging these vertices together. So do here, and M, merge at center, right? Merge at the center, merge, oops, oops, too much. These two, merge at the center, M, merge at center, yes. So we are just going to finish this thing up. So in that case, after done all these, and we can turn on the subdivision surface. Yeah, looks very nice. Yeah, that's the, the stuff we wanted to do. And a lot sometimes if you're packaging design or whatever, need to have more a little bit more sharp edge. What we can do here, we're just going to tap this thing out, adding a support loop. OK, so control R. Very easy, and kind of get it that in, and can do another one. Uh, Control R, get that over here, and that's see that's pretty much just like the one we had. And then if you are already have some reference image, you want to make it looking bigger and smaller, you can do that, right? You can you can do whatever you want. So. That's kind of just a trick that you can actually start modeling and do any crazy exclusion, extrusions uh, around, uh, down here, just kind of getting the entire body to figure out, right? So anyway, this is the, I think this is the, the end of the tutorial. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave the comment below. And uh, if you really think this short video is helpful, please hit likes and also consider subscribe my channel my my youtube channel is mainly about product photography and uh, cgi photography related cgi models related to uh, photorealistic rendering so yeah if that's in your niche please please consider subscribe and thank you for your support and i will see you in the next video bye